I welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. Okay, first let's have a quick look what we like to achieve in this quick tip tutorial. That's the shell shape we're gonna do. And as you can see, there's even some round edges. You can also see it's going around this way. And we also have a second layer on top of the shell, which is quite handy, you know, if you have some tiles, as example. So let's get into this tutorial now. Okay, this is the setup I have for this little quick tip. Let's have a look in 3D. Um, they're just simple walls of a house. And I like to add now my roof to this. The red line is just a spline and I use this actually to determine my roof overhang. I just select the spline and let me just extend it. So you can put an exact roof overhang in. Let me put in 600. And what I do is next, now we need to use the shell tool and we need to use this option of the shell and this option of the shell. So I'm clicking here and the shell setup itself is very simple at the moment. I've got 200 thickness. The height really doesn't matter because I will um, elevate this after in 3D and just make sure you add some surfaces to it and obviously put it on a layer. So, okay, now before I draw this, what I need to do is I need some reference walls. That's the way um, you do this shell roof. So what I do is we take a wall and it's not really important the settings there, make sure they're high enough. I can show you quickly there at the moment in seven meters. So what I do is I draw now along this overhang of the roof, which is the spline, I draw extra walls. Now in 3D, you can see what's happening here. They're just outside, outside the main building, exactly the width of the roof overhang. Great, so we got this. And what I like you to do is, let's just select those walls. And to make it a bit easier, I move them to the right. So it's not in the way when I do this in 3D because you need to do this in 3D. The other bit is, I can actually delete two of those walls. I don't need this side and I don't need this side. So if I'm going to 3D now, that's the setup I have. To create now my shell, we go to the shell tool and we start drawing the shell. Make sure you got those two options on. And the first click is to determine which reference wall I need to create my first part of the shell. So I'm clicking on this one click. Then I go to the bottom here, to that corner. I click again, go all the way to the top left, to the corner. Make sure you're to the corner, zoom in a bit. If you need to, you click again, and then you click again. It's like a double click on it. So you can see you got this reference line in there now for the first part of the shell. The next bit, the shell needs to know the shape tool is the other reference um, wall. So let me turn around, we're going to this side. So you can see now I click on this wall. One click and now it changes. I can draw my next reference of the shell. Now instead of drawing it from the bottom, I go from the top this time to that corner up there and all the way down here to this corner and just click again and again. Okay, so you can see it creates a really nice shape of the, um, the roof. It creates a really nice shape of the shell. Now, if you watch careful at the start, I actually had my roof going into the middle and down that way. So obviously this is not what I want. Let me show you just as a reminder, I've got a copy over here. Let me do a marquee tool. And um, so I wanted to do it this way. The reason is I showed you quickly this shape all the way is just to really explain how you actually use this tool. So let me go into 3D now again, and very simple, we delete this. Now what you do is, let me delete this, and um, oh, I've got to turn that on here, there we go. We do this again, so let me go to the shell, but this time 
when you click on the first reference wall, so I click there, I'm going to the middle of this wall. It will recognize the middle of the wall. So you go down here, to zoom in a little bit to make sure you got the middle on that side. So click there and you click all the way up here and you click again. And we do the same on the other side. Okay, because now you can see I do have going up, looking at wireframe, so you can see you go up and I just wanted to do the same going that way. Mirror a copy. And let's go here. You gotta go to that point or go to that one. We're gonna go to this point and we mirror over. Yeah, that looks pretty good. See, now this is quite cool because now we can take this roof and move it over here and just move it in 3D. Okay, so you take this and drag this over. And it's probably not such a good idea because I need to go exactly <laughs> to my splines. But that's cool, that's cool. Let's just do this. So we select and we drag this. Okay, now as you can see, it looks like, yes, I did. Uh, those walls could be careful because I went inside to inside, okay? My mistake, so make sure you gotta go outside to outside or just take this wall and move it there, see? And then you go here and you move it there. And then you create the shell, fair enough. Now let's check again in 3D if that's all good, but it should be fine. All right, so you got the part of the shell now quite nicely. Now you can move this up, of course. Let me elevate this just by a number, maybe elevate it by two meters and we up here. Now you can see that the wall is not high enough. Just extend the wall because we got to cut this, of course. Okay, so let me select those. Um, walls and I just extend, let's make it nine. Just make sure it extends above the shell. See, that's fine, that's great. Before we cut this, we have to still shape the shell a bit better. How do we do this? So if I'm going back to my floor plan, I've got this um, spline here, the polyline, and this is the line I like to use to actually shape my shell further. So what I do is I like to add a couple of polygons here. Let me go over here. Great, so you can shape this shell now along this polyline, but as you can see, this is not gonna work because there's nothing there, right? If you go back to the 3D at the moment, that's not overhanging enough, so I can't really shape it like that. So what we do is, we very simple select this and we just move it out the shell. All right, make sure it's straight, just, you know, go over, that's fine. It's not a problem because we will use the polyline to shape our shell in a moment. Okay, great, so this is all overhanging now see this is great and what you do is very simple you select now your shell you do a right click and you say define shell contour and all i do is space click on this polygon line okay so if i go now to 3d you will see obviously with everything that's a bit nicer you will see it shaped exactly along this polyline right next bit is we gotta cut down the walls now i've tried let me try this again i tried the normal trim we have in archicad to trim them down so what you do is you select this and you use the trimming tool and it clearly says here select trimming roof shell and use roofs shells from current selection so if i go trim as you can see, that didn't really work. So there is an option you can use. Let me undo this step. Okay, now you have to first actually change the way the shell will be cutting those um, walls. 
So you select the shell, you go into your shell tool, and there's an option down here called trimming body, which is as a default setting on editable. Now I can just go and say, oh, I like to trim it my shell downwards. Okay, so downward extrusion. Okay, now let's try this again. Same thing, we go here, click OK. And this time the shell knows it has to trim everything above it and keep anything underneath it. So that's quite nice. You've seen here, it can happen sometimes, it's a bit annoying. So this obviously doesn't look very nice. So to fix this, let me undo this again. You simply go to your um, 2D and what we do is we trim, you know, cut it, the wall in half. There you go, deselect. Now, what we do is if you then go and select one of the wall and one of the shells and we do the trim, it will trim just nicely. Okay, and trim it again. Okay, so this way we avoided this funny bit of the shell. So if you think that's too much work for you, then just use the solid element operation option. I mean, it's very simple. Okay, so I'm adding my two shells and they will be the operator. And I'm adding as a target the walls. And you have to make sure you go subtraction with uh, upward, in, uh, upward extrusion and execute. All right, let me have a look how this looks now. See? That's perfectly cut off now and you got your shell. Now if you like an extra layer on top, maybe you know some tiles or something, it's quite easy actually. What we do is we select this and we drag a copy, let's go over here and what we do is we take the polyline and let's just move it in a little bit. Let's go by, let's make it 150, there we go and then you select the shell and then we just move the shell in two see there you go of course you got to do the other side let's move that in two now if you're in 3d you can see what's happening over here obviously i copied everything and this will be a bit smaller than this one so we don't need the walls anymore just delete that now thickness wise um, let me keep this as thick and let me take this one and we make this as example like 80. So that means one in the back, it's 200, let me select, it's 200. This one now is 80, just to understand. So it's 120 different. So let's select this and we move that 120 um, down. No, hang on, 80, minus 80, there you go. I already had this one in there. So just move 180 down. Let's go to the floor plan. And I just select this one. Or we can select a lot if you like and we just drag this back okay now you can drag this back to this line because that line stayed let me quickly select all of this it's quite easy so those blue lines they are still the same the only difference is that the roof itself has gone in slightly okay so that means i can now drag those exactly to the line down here you get a tick when you're there see there's a tick okay so let's have a look in 3d and if i zoom in yeah there you go see perfect got an extra layer and you know just change the materials put some tiles on so you can see that's quite easy to do and that's it for today's quick coffee tip and i hope i see you back next time bye for now